Good morning, friends. Um, it is okay. It is Monday. About it is Monday. About ten thirty. Okay, baby. Thank you. I don't know what she said, but. I thanked her, and so she thanked me, too, so I can get started again. It's Monday, and I had given her some gummy bears, and I thought she was going to be great in there watching her TV. But, um, evidently she wasn't, but she's outside now, and we're sitting on the porch, and I'm having to sit a different way again. And guys, you know, I told y'all. I bought that new, um, oh my goodness, where do my words go when I, when I want to tell y'all something? I built, I, I made that, I bought that new thing that I didn't want Bennett to get it mixed up with mine. The, the stand that you video on, and I painted it red so he would know that was mine. Guys, he is out there with my video stick making his own video. I don't know where the black one is. He doesn't know where the black one is. Wherever he videoed last is where he left it. And now he's got my red one. So I had to use my little bitty one. And to use my little bitty one, I have to sit it on something I can't just choose where I want to sit. I've got to have something to sit it on. So right now it's sitting on our wood heater that's on our front porch. And I really can't look at that wood heater because I see how bad it needs to be dusted. So I'm mean, just like all up in the air or something because if my eyes catch that wood heater, I think, oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, um, I cut my hair a little short. This is so crazy. I have this little shaver. Papa has this little shaver. Well, um, I put my shaver in the back of the drawer so he wouldn't use it because he uses it for his mustache and his beard. I didn't want him to use fun. So I put mine in the back of the drawer. So when I got ready to cut my hair, I couldn't find the right blade. And immediately, I think, oh, my gosh, has Coda been in here playing? Would they have taken the blades? Where are the little shaver blades? So I looked, and I looked, and I looked. So then I said, well, Brenda, you have two choices. You can not shave your hair, or you can use it with this shorter blade. So I thought to myself, it'll always grow back. How short is too short, right? If any of y'all have just love short hair, you think how short is too short? Well, hmm, Kim come in yesterday and she said, Mom, you got your hair awfully short, didn't you? So maybe this is too short, but it's done. So anyway, that's why yeah, I have no hair there because I absolutely shaved it. Well, it still has hair. It's just white hair. And then on this, I thought silver would be pretty. And uh, silver turned it very silver. And so now when you get like really close and it, it doesn't match what my hair is growing in, which is white. So that's that. That's, that's the way that stands. This is my hair. This is a little stand I'm using because I can't find my big video stick or whatever that thing is called. So, guys, I want to tell you, it was a great weekend. Um, we had those sliders for lunch yesterday, the little Hawaiian's King sliders. I had bologna and ham and chicken salad and ham salad and uh, some pieces of Spam, which I think I ate all of those because I love Spam. And then we had uh, relish, pickles, cheese, some cream spread um all kinds of good things to go on them and then i had some brownie bites for dessert so i didn't know it was my turn to cook so i called kim 
Oh, well, I, I don't know. I was just talking to her and I said, well, you're cooking, right? And she said, I'm not cooking. It's not my turn to cook. And I said, well, how can I cook with one hand? And she said, mom, just throw something in the skillet and let dad stir it. I thought, well, <laughs> that's rude, but that can be done. So I thought, oh, this is perfect because Elon, Elon, <laughs> I got Elon Musk on my mind, I guess. I, I just saw a, a really good video with him where, um, well, I won't go into that, but there's a lot of videos, uh, a lot of reels about him online now since he's helped out so much in, uh, in North Carolina and so anyway i guess i've got elon elon on my mind but i was going to say peyton and eli manning have these commercials all the time about slider sunday so i thought well we're gonna have a slider sunday and it worked out good every even the kids could get their own little bread and and make their own little sandwich with what they wanted on it Thank you. Can I go? Give me. Can I go right here? Can I go right here? Okay. Well, turn around. Let him see your dirty face. Uh oh. Turn around. Look. Ah, uh, hi, friends. You've been eating what? Brownie? And you've got chocolate face? Yeah. All right. So, how does my feather look? Did it fall too? I don't have much hair to stick it in. How about that? Is that perfect? Yeah. Okay, guys. Don't laugh. I'm tall with a feather in my hair. So, anyway, we had Slider Sunday. and go. Oh, thank you, love. Why don't we put this one in your hair? No. Do I have feather? Guys. No, don't touch that. It's perfect. Don't touch it. It's perfect. Play my hair. Okay, guys. Um, back to Slider Sunday. Mm, it was good. Zipping. Okay, but can I talk, please? And you can go. If you want to say hello, friends, then back up and say hello, friends. I have to be friends. Uh, okay. Coda Ray Feaster. Do you want to swat? P go away. <sighs> This is just so good to have her back. I miss her for the whole week. So anyway, she came back saying something hateful. Because now when you tell her to pick up her toy, she says, who cares? And I heard her say that to her mama yesterday. And, and Jill said, it's my fault. Because Carly comes and starts griping about everything that Code has done. And she's trying to get... Uh, Carly to say, okay, don't worry about it. Who cares? It's okay. And that way, Coda might leave her alone. But instead, Coda's picked it up where when you tell her to do something, she said, who cares? And I told her today, I said, look at my face. I'm going to take these out, guys. I'm sorry. I said, look at my face. If you tell me again, who cares? I'm going to take my shoe off to you. She goes, okay. So hopefully that um, went in her little mind. I don't know. But guys, it, it's been a good week. I've had no kids this whole week. My hand, um, I'm going to put it really close. You can see that's all that's left of it. And this one right here is sort of like non-existent unless you touch it. And if it touches anything, see, it's just, can you see? There, there it is. You can see that little hump and that little line. If you touch any of it, it hurts. Other than that, I don't even know what's happened. So, um, I have my doctor appointment with him tomorrow, and I'm hoping he'll tell me everything's good and I can drive because um, I need to go have a pedicure. I don't do manicures. Um, I can do my nails myself, and I like them really short because I work with the babies. But I, I do have to get a pedicure. Um, I try to go every six weeks. That's kind of a long time. 
but it's kind of an expensive luxury. So I try to do it only every six weeks. So, and that lasts pretty good. So, um, y'all have all heard about Papa's camper. That is a really, really blessing for him. He's been wanting one for so long and looking at those that he can, um, you know, work on and fix up. And um, I don't know exactly what company that Lester talked with, and I guess that was maybe supposed to be Lester's team camper, but he passed it on to Dad um, because he has two nice campers. But his videos are so many more than ours. So um, he gets so much recognition uh, for the camper company when he camps or when he does something in his camper. Right. Oh, please. Aren't you gonna go get on your trampoline? All right. Look, I will give you a surprise if you'll go play on your trampoline. All right. All right. Okay, go play on your trampoline. All right. She's scared of my shoe. <laughs> okay. We were going to go with Kim this morning. Um, she wanted to take some things and drop them off at Goodwill and to pick up a grocery order. So I started getting her dress and she said, no, she's not taking off her nightgown because she's in that frozen nightgown again. I said, we're not going in the nightgown. And she says, why? Because we don't go to town in the nightgown. Why? Well, what if we have an accident and we have to go to the hospital? You want to be in your nightgown? Yes. Well, that did kind of make sense. Anyway, I took her nightgown off and she started screaming. I thought, dear Lord, maybe she needs a nap. So I went ahead and got her dressed. And then she walks around crying, I don't want to wear this shirt. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Well, she has been home with mommy and daddy for one whole week. And I thought, Lord, I can't deal with this this morning. So um, we're just going to stay home. So I called Kim and I said, we're not going. I, um, I can't get Coda out of this mood. And um, I have some things I need to do around the house anyway. And I said, we just won't go. And she said, well, okay. So anyway, she went without us. And I thought she would surely go to sleep. And uh, I even made her a second breakfast. I gave her some waffles, this time with sugar on it. And um, she hadn't gone to sleep yet. So that's fine because I need to work. Oh, when everything's going on, and y'all are bound to do this. I'm not the only one. And the mail comes in. So you stack it and stack it and stack it and stack it. And and as you're stacking it, you say, oh, this, well, I, if it says Brenda or Gigi, I take it out. But the other mail, guys, there's probably no, it's a pile of like this big. And it's just stuffed in my bill box. And my plan for this Monday was to sit down at the table and clean out my bill box. Now, I cannot tell you how many times I've started doing that and, and something comes up, so I just leave it. And there's even been times that Papa said, I've never seen you leave stuff all over the table like that. I said, well, don't touch it. It's just in the little piles that I want. And then something happens, someone's coming over, so I just shuffle it all together, stick it back in the bill box. So that was my plan for this Monday. Um, I figured Coda would sleep in the morning because uh, that's when my mind works good it is in the morning and I figured she would sleep you know in the morning and I would work on my build box so that was going to be my day my house is clean our floors are painted I am looking for a little chest hopefully about yay wide I don't know how big that is but yay wide it has to have at least three drawers because guys um I had two junk drawers, one in, in Kim's big buffet. It was huge, and you could open it. You could find anything in the world that you wanted in that drawer. I'm not kidding you. And then um, 
when when she took the buffet back because I I really didn't need it anymore and she wouldn't let me paint it. She wouldn't let me fix it up. So she, she finally took it. So anyway, I took that junk drawer and I just scooped everything out and put it in a plastic drawer. So I have a, a chest, yay big, with three plastic drawers. And then uh, what would fit in that drawer, I put it in the second drawer. Then I had one other junk drawer and I went and I took that junk drawer, took it out and dumped it into the third drawer. So now I have a chest, it's plastic right now, this wide. The drawers are about this deep. Y'all know what, you can get them at Walmart really cheap. They're perfect for, for little odds and ends like that. I shoved it over in the corner and, um, you know, it's fine. But, uh, it's, oh, I'm rubbing my lips again, I'm sorry. But, oh, and that stuff that I was talking about is biotin. And why I couldn't remember that name, I do not know for the life of me. And all I had to do is get up and go in there and look, but I was too lazy that day to go look for y'all, but it is called biotin. And I, I think a lot of y'all knew that already, but uh, okay. Back to my story about my junk drawer. I found, it's a white chest on uh, Marketplace, but it only has like two drawer pulls on it. And it's a great project. I just only wanted $25 for it. So maybe Kim and I can go pick that up in the morning. And it's painted white already. So I'm just going to clean it up. And I have some uh, some ivory ivory white, I think. I'm just going to spray it all over with the ivory white. But um, I don't want white knobs. So um, it's going to sit right beside my dining room table, sort of in that corner. So I have to get some kind of cute little knobs. I think one, two, three, four, six knobs is all it, all it needs. So I'll get something cute. Um, probably something silly. I may get red knobs. That'll, that'll, that'll drive Kim crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is my project now. And I found, uh, you know, my bar in my kitchen. It's, it's a work, a workbench. It come from Home Depot years ago and it's been through its second flood now. And, uh, I've used it everywhere for a while. We had it as our, uh, dressing table in the bathroom and twice it's been in my kitchen and praise God, it just doesn't tear up. <laughs> yes, love. <laughs> Coda Bear, look at me. Look at me. You are not hungry. Please. You, no, 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 listen to me. You may want something. You may feel like you need a snack, but you are not hungry. My little pickle pop. See, does that gonna fill your tummy up? Yeah. No, no, it will just taste good and you will enjoy eating it, but it's not like food. So what you need is a snack, right? Mom, I need pickle pop, why? Okay, I'll get you a pickle pop. Don't touch that band-aid, it's nasty. Look at me, Coda. Go in the house or go and sit in that chair and wait or sit at your table. I will go get your pickle pop, okay? Okay. Now, I love you. I don't know what that was. She wants a pickle pop. She said she's hungry. Anyway, she's not hungry. She wants a snack. So anyway, I'm hoping that I can make that chest look really cute. It's not going to be an important piece of furniture. It's only $25, but it said the, the it's wood and the drawers are good. So that's going to be three drawers for junk. Just junk. Nothing else. And uh, Papa was asking me the other day, he says, w where are we keeping the tape now? Because we were sending some stuff back to um, to Amazon, and I said it's in the junk drawer. And he said, "Well, well, where are the junk drawers now?" 
because every the other two things are gone and i sit right over there in that plastic so anyway i got him the the tape and i said look these are three junk drawers anything you need you're going to find them in one of these three drawers so hopefully i can get that permanent because i really don't like just to have that plastic sitting there anyway i had two of the plastic containers with the drawers that were had it looked like they were woven and those are real pretty and i put one in uh beside my washer and dryer to clean out what i had there after the flood and then i don't I, I really don't know what happened to the other one and i need to go upstairs and look anyway i'll tell y'all bennett got mad at me i had my mother's chest and i didn't want it down here anymore and kim said mom because it just looked like a brown blob sitting against a brown wall. And so Kim said, Mom, I can paint it for you. Or um, what if we just painted the drawer? So I said, well, that sounds good. So I've waited and I've waited and I've waited and she's forgotten. So um, it's just sitting in the washroom. It was my mom's. I want to redo it. Um, but I, I can't do it right now. I've got to wait till I can push buttons. I can't put cologne on or anything because you have to hold it right there and push, push. So I try holding it in this hand and push, push. Been pr pretty fortunate to get a little bit of cologne on or either I have to let Papa spray me. So anyway, I can't use the spray paint. That's the point I was trying to make. So that's why I haven't done the drawers myself. And uh, when I get this little chest, I'm going to ask uh, Brienne to do it for me. Uh, Kim has her own things going on always. I think it's to keep busy. Um, she's always got these ideas of what she wants to do. Next thing, when you go to her house, she's done built something else. or And that's awesome. And um, I don't think, guess I was like that when I was younger. I was constantly changing things around, but I didn't build my own things like like she does. My thing was making sure my yard was immaculate. I, I had the most beautiful yard. I mowed it all with a push mower, and at that time, I could mow it while wearing a two-piece swimsuit and feel comfortable if anybody drove up. Right now, if they drove up, they would be in throw-up mode. So... Um, that would not be a pretty sight. So I would not be out mowing in a two-piece swimsuit. Jake would probably sneak somewhere and video me and, and that would just be the, the end of my video career because I'd be ashamed to show my face again. Here comes the door opening. I hear Coda talking. Hi, love. Don't hang your head. Don't hang I am coming. I am coming. Go see what, go see what, uh, baby girl. All right, just lay right here. So anyway, that is my plan for, for the chest over there. And hopefully Brianne will do that for me, um, tomorrow if Kim and I go get it. But what I was going to tell y'all, I found something absolutely gorgeous it is a kitchen island and it is made out of the most beautiful wood and on this side it has three drawers and a door that opens and on the other side honey please it has uh three shelves and another door that opens I thought, oh my goodness that is so beyond beautiful it was supposedly handmade uh and I called him and I said, what were the dimensions? Because Papa said, it doesn't look very big to me. And I said, honey, it doesn't really matter because we will put, <laughs> we've had the same top on any bar that we've had in our kitchen for the last probably 20 years. And I said, we'll put our top on the bar. So, you know, on the kitchen <laughs> island, it doesn't matter really what size the island is. And that'll give us the overhang for so anyway, I asked, would there be someone there to help load? Because it's just me and Kim. 
And um, so no one's answered me back on that. I'm very upset with them. But I've got to, baby, let me tell my friends one thing, okay? And then I'll come get your pickle pop. Okay. So what I was telling you about Bennett, he got mad at me. I wanted mother's chest upstairs because I hadn't had time to work on it yet. And Kim had forgotten. And it was too big to use for my drawers where I wanted it. So, um, I said, be it, it was just a washer. I said, Ben, if you'll hand me those drawers, me and Papa will carry those to the stairs and you can carry up the, the chest. And, you know, Ben doesn't agree with anything I do. He doesn't like change. And he goes, where are you going to put it up there? Stop, honey. And I said, I don't know. Ben, we just got to get it upstairs. I don't want it to ruin. And he said, can you... Coda, please. And he said, well, can you carry it up? I said, no, I can't carry it up. It's heavy. It's about 100 years old, and I've got a bad hand. So he was painting, and I, and I think he didn't. Her hair's everywhere. <laughs> I've been rubbing it. Um, I think he didn't want to stop his painting or something. And Papa said, come on, Ben, we got to do this for G right now. So Papa took two drawers. I took two drawers. And here comes Ben with that, um, with that chest. And he goes, hey, look, go pick your, go choose your pickle pop. Go choose it. And he says, where do you want it? Why don't I get it up there? I said, Ben, I don't know. He just put it right there. And I can shove it up there. It's got rollers on it. So I can shove it around where I want it. When he come back stairs, downstairs, he was mad at me. He glared at me. So I'm thinking, well, hmm, I guess he's mad. He'll be going home early as soon as he finishes the painting. If he's mad at me, he doesn't hang around. I cannot see myself taking another trip with Bennett because lately, everything I say, he wants to jump on it for some reason. So, I don't know, maybe... um I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, we were supposed to take a trip the week that my hand was healing, and we didn't get to do that, but it was okay anyway because uh, we would have gone up probably toward, I know, I think we were just going to Arkansas. Anyway, um, guys, I'm going to have to go and cut this for her. Let's see. I've talked 27 minutes. Um, I, I'm really trying to take it to the kitchen and get you a paper towel, okay? Then I'll come cut it. Get your paper towel first, so, okay? Okay. So, I'm trying to think of anything that I wanted to tell y'all that's important, that's happened. I think I made a video... Um, Thursday, and then we had no internet. Then we had, but I went to town with Kim, and I and I, I was able to find internet, so I was able to post that. Then I didn't do an, uh, one Friday because we had no internet, and then Jamie brought us her internet, her uh, Starlink from Longhorn Lester. No, 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 from J and L Ranch because. They don't have to use the internet when they're up there. They only go to check on everything, and they weren't going to have Lex. So, um, she brought us that to use until our Starlink came in. So, when we finally do get ours, or maybe we're going to keep this one and switch it to our name, I don't know. But I can get Papa the hotspot one. And um, it's only $20 a month, and he can use it at the river. He can just hook it on his on his uh, mule and take it anywhere he goes and get, get a good signal. So that'll be really, really good for him too. So um, yes, we do have internet now and I've sent out a lot of messages, answered a lot of questions. Um, thank y'all for all the, <laughs> thank you for all the cards. And um, I got some beautiful flowers I'm so sorry. I'm not good with names, but um, one lady sent me a card, and it had, maybe they were her favorite scriptures, but she, she wrote me about six 
handwritten scriptures was where they're found. I just had such a good time reading those. And I just added it to my little corner where I stand and sip my coffee for a little while in the morning and try to get myself ready to go for the day reading all those things that y'all have sent me. And I appreciate it so much. Um, but I think I am fine now. I may not even have this hand done because it is not... Sweetheart, if you bring me a pull-up because you know you're wet, then you need to go TT in the Modi. Did you hear what I said? Coda Ray, did you hear me? <sighs> that was wasted breath. She brings me a napkin to wrap her pickle pop and a pull up. So, <laughs> okay. Bandit, no. She's watching the Amazon man. He just drove up. Okay, so guys, I am going to go. And uh, again, thank you so much for the prayers when I, when I was having my uh, surgery. Um, oh my dear Lord, guys, I am going to, Coda, please, you're so rude. I'm talking to Frank, Coda. No, ma'am. I have to talk to her like I talked to Verdi. Verdi gets in so much trouble. She's so, she just moved to another wind time. Guys, I love y'all. I'll be so glad when she takes a nap. <laughs> Have a great day. Maybe I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Love ya.